Good morning, and thank you for joining us for today's webinar, Pocket Production, Short Video Mastery for Tourism Success. Today is June 13th, and I'm so glad you could join us. For those of you joining us for the first time, my name is Nick Bry. I am the Manager of Business Development with Tourism Nova Scotia. We work with communities and industry to attract visitors to the province and increase tourism revenues. News, we help them with experience, sector development, business coaching, marketing, and visitor servicing. So happy that you could join us today. And throughout the webinar, we're going to have um, hopefully a great discussion. Put your questions in the Q&A at the bottom, and we'll make sure we get to them. If there's any links or resources uh, that we talk about, um, we'll share after the fact, just to make sure that um, you know you can focus on the webinar. Uh, this one would be a little different. We did let you know that uh, hopefully you've downloaded Kafka beforehand. That would be in the messages. And if you haven't... Um, done so, please do so now. If you get you know, tripped up, can't do it, that's fine. Do it after it and rewatch the video. So thank you for joining us in this webinar and all of our other webinars are available um, on uh, our website, on our YouTube channel and Digiport. Speaking of Digiport, I'm really hoping you joined us today through Digiport. It's the a one-stop shop um, that we offer in partnership with Digital Nova Scotia. It's you know interactive services, programming, it is expert tips, links to webinars, anything you need is going to be there. And, and that's where you would book your one-on-one -on -one sessions. So uh, nsdigiport.ca, I hope that you um, joined us through the Digiport link. And if not, please go check it out after the fact. Uh, it's it's one of its kind. No one else in Canada, uh, and from a tourism perspective, has this kind of offering. So, so please check it out. So... Really excited today that we have um, Will Yang from Deferral Marketing. Will is such uh, a great resource. He's an inclusive marketing specialist with a passion for short form video content and tourism and hospitality. Um, look no further than the presentation you'll see ahead on the quality that he can bring. His expertise has driven success for brands like Halifax Shopping Center, Tourism Nova Scotia, and he crafts stories to celebrate diversity and resonate across digital landscapes. Um, you know, when Will works with clients, they, they, they are reliable. They know what the trends are and they'll help your business stand out. So, uh, without further ado, Will, take her over. I uh, can't wait to see what you have to bring today. And thank you so much for, for, um, sparing some time with us to, uh, come share your knowledge. Awesome. Thanks so much, Nick. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for coming to this session this morning. Um, the weather is getting very good this morning here in Hammonds Plains. Um, and we're talking about a very exciting topic today, which is pocket production. So um, a lot of people ask us, what is the best camera, best gear to use to create content? So um, I think the best gear you have is the the equipment that you use all the time, which is your smartphone. So um, I think it's a great resource for everybody to create content for your tourism businesses. I want to thank uh, Nova Scotia and Tourism Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia to give us the chance to present today and we can dive in. So today's session, um, we're going to, you know, first uh, we're going to start with a little land acknowledgement. Um, I put my little moose hide on today just to show a little silent support that we're in Mi'kma'ki, uh, the ancestral and uh, uh, traditional lands of Mi'kmaq people. We acknowledge that the Peace and Friendship Treaty is signed in this territory and recognize that we are all treaty people. Um, we have uh, quite some people here today and, and I crafted this workshop into like, um, try to make sure everybody's business is included or can learn something that you can use in your business. Um, so all the photos and videos we're going to present today are captured by um, me and my team. Um, and I can tell all the stories about the, the things behind the photo. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, leave it um, uh, in the Q&A session, please. So we're gonna uh, discuss why we use the key right now. Uh, we're gonna introduce some film filming techniques, uh, editing skills on CapCut, and we're gonna try some hands-on which is very important. I want everybody to leave this session with uh, a knowledge, you know, how to create what we learned today, rather than just some, you know, uh, knowledge in your head, you have to create something. Um, and I love to see everybody, you know, post the video you learned today on social media. Um, and the last, the last but not least, we're gonna uh, focus on topics on like, tourism, like how 
how what kind of ideas you can use uh, to create short videos uh, for your tourism related businesses and services. Okay, this is today's goal. We're gonna have a little look. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> make some uh, espresso martini from your smartphone. This is today's goal. Um, this is, you know, I think this little practice uh, can be very useful for a lot of business today. If you are like a, a hotel business, a in business, a restaurant business, any business that you can, you know, service, um, you can provide uh, beverage services. So you can use this technique to um, to boost your social media uh, on on the internet. And this is not just, you know. A, a alcohol drink you can do anything with this technique um here so let's just rewatch this again espresso martini okay I have admit that, you know, this is a terrible looking and ter terrible tasting uh, espresso martini that I made. Not a, a, a professional in there, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm willing to learn how to make a good one. That's the goal today. That's the goal today. And let's jump to the next slide here. Um, a little bit about ourselves. Um, so we, um, deferral, we focus on inclusive marketing. Um, and creative content. So we believe uh, being different is uh, better uh, than better. Um, I think, you know, if you put a lot of efforts on just being better than, than other uh, brands, you, you kind of, you know, waste a lot of energy. But if you put those energy uh, into how to be different than them, um, that would be very effective and, and you know uh, we believe that you choose your own com competitor if you're unique enough you don't have any competitor um so we work with uh, a lot of uh, brands um, and organizations here in nova scotia um, and we focus on tourism and hospitality um, sector here um a little bit about myself so i moved uh, from china to nova scotia since 2015 i did school here um, and um, create a lot of content for tourism uh, sector here. Um, and we did some very cool campaigns like Diverse Lunar New Year with Halifax Shopping Center and the feature on um, CBC and uh, uh, some like notable, one of the notable projects we, um, we did, it was you know, uh, marketing Nova, so Nova 7, the, you know, the beautiful wine uh, to China. Um, and we also create, uh, co-create the craft seltzer immortality with a good robot uh, in 2021. Um, here's a little old photo of me that judging everybody if you now listen carefully today, but um, there's no, no dumb questions today. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'm answering all the questions. Um, the objective is to uh, harness smartphone uh, videography to boost your tourism business in Nova Scotia. Uh, and the overview, we specialize videography skills, essential film techniques, and editing with CapCut. It's a very cool, very cool app that is free for everybody. Um, but it, it takes time to get used to it because you don't have a giant screen to work on, on your phone. So there's some uh, differences than editing on a computer. But you kind of need this phone. Um, sometimes because this is the device with you all the time. Okay, why video marketing? Um, so first, uh, the engagement is huge. Uh, we're kind of jumping from photo era to video era a few a few years ago um, that we can see, you know, the popularity of TikTok, Instagram Reels are, you know, way more than just you know a great photo, a carousel, which we, we, which was very popular, and the stories on Instagram years ago, um, that we know uh, videos capture attention more effectively than text or images uh, because it's more immersive, right? It tells a story. It's an art of time, um, and people have very short time span now, so we have to 
make things shorter, more concise uh, to to convey our uh, messages. Secondly, uh, reach that all the algorithm right now, because in short videos are so popular, all the algorithms on different platforms are preferring short videos. Um, for example, if the, the same content, similar content, if you write it in blog, um, you have less reach than, you know, tell a story via a photo uh, and it's less than tell a story via a short video, right? Um, so it has more reach. If you are creating short videos, you're, you're on a better lane uh, in, in this game. Um, thirdly, uh, conversion. It has way more conversion because of the first two points. And videos, um, I, I always think, you know, why people purchase your services and um, products uh, in the tourism sector. I think um, we have so many different brands, so much content online. I think the thing that tricks people, okay, I'm going to buy this, I'm going to book this, is um, a little, I would say like emotional touch to like tell, you told a story and people buy your story. Um, there's so much beautiful content, so many beautiful photos online. So just being beautiful is not enough right now, right? So you have to tell a story or tell, or being very different or being cool or like, wow, like a wow moment. So creating a short video is easier to create those wow mo moments uh, and to leave a very good impression, first impression to your potential clients. Okay, jump to the next one. Okay, here are the smartphone videography essentials here. Um, and it doesn't matter use iOS um, system or Android system, it's all the same similar thing. On the iOS apps, I recommend um, Filmic Pro, iMovie, or if you're a pro, you can use LumaFusion, uh, Android, Open Camera, Adobe Rush, um, and Time Master, you can use that as well. Uh, my favorite app, to be honest, is the original camera app on your phone. That's the that's my favorite app because it's very accessible. You don't have to, you know, find, you know, an app and log in. I think accessibility is very important. Sometimes you just want, you know, capture that moment, right? Sometimes timing is everything. So you just grab your phone, open your camera, and make sure if you are, you know, you want to be a short video creator, make sure in the setting to set when you open the camera, it automatically open videos rather than photos. So you don't have to change that, right? Sometimes a few seconds, you miss everything. Okay, perfect. And gear, I brought some of my gear, some of my gears here. So this guy here is a little phone tripod I use all the time. Um, and the little video that you watched is shot in this um, sorry, uh, using this uh, little tripod. So you just put your smartphone on it, um, just like that, right? Sometimes a good little rig um, and you want to create some content. For example, you want to achieve that effect. I just show you, you kind of need the tripod to make the phone very, very stable there. Um, and there are some, you know, lights, little constant lights you can use if you sell like, you know, good dishes, good drinks, uh, good product, souvenirs, you kind of need these lights to shine on the subject. Uh, there are more lights here and more lights here, right? If every, everybody's uh, have ever learned photography, you know, um, light is everything. Um, and I can share uh, like a gear link that I recommend to everybody maybe after the session to Nick and Nick can sh uh, share that link with everybody. Just my personal recommendations, right? Some, maybe some Amazon links that you can just put in your, um, in your, uh, sorry, list. <laughs> All right, lighting, um, golden hour. So golden hour is early in the morning or late afternoon when everybody, when, when all the lights, everything is so soft. You have some like kind of orange glow, warm light. That's a very, very 
good time to capture a lot of content uh, for if, if you have, you know, Airbnb, have a little inn on the lake, that's the perfect time to capture uh, exterior um, scenes. Uh, and secondly, avoid harsh midday sun. Um, the, I don't know how many people are taking photos be before. Can you raise your hand oh, no. and you ever, um, you know, take photos outside and see how many people have no uh, uh, taking photos before, use your smartphone to uh, capture any content before. Maybe let's say, let's say like type yes in the, in the chat box. So I know how many people, okay, perfect. Awesome. Cool, cool. Everyone, you're getting have a lot you... of yeses coming your way. Okay, that's awesome. There's a lot of yeses, that's good. So um, that's wonderful. So avoid midday harsh sun. Uh, I don't take pictures ever in the midday because it's so much shadow, right? You don't want those shadows in your photo. Uh, if you do, if you like, I have to capture this right now, use a, a diffuser, um, you know, very affordable diffuser, put your subject under the diffuser or inside use a curtain, using like another full black curtain, like some curtain uh, to soft your lights. Um, so we know that a lot of people uh, know how to take photos and uh, use your smartphone ever uh, use smartphone to edit video. That's awesome. Um, because today we're going to use a kind of a, a little bit difficult way to edit, um, more advanced way, which is CapCut. It's making me feel better. Um, third, framing. Framing is very important. Um, you, you kind of, I think framing is everything. Um, uh, when, when I learned uh, filmmaking um, in, in SCC before, we're talking about what is uh, real, right? I think the moment a person pick up uh, a phone or a camera, uh, it's, not, it's not real anymore. It's, it's very subjective because you can frame, you can frame, you can, you can control what people can see and what people cannot see. Um, so framing is very important. Um, the simple one, the simple way to make your content look good is to use the rule of thirds, right? Uh, if you ever um, use the setting on your camera, which you can on uh, iPhone and Android phones uh, on the setting, you can put the uh, rule of thirds grid there. Um, if you can, if you do that, maybe we do that today after the session. Practice to put your subject, maybe you take a photo of someone, put their eyes in one of those intersections right on the third of top and third of left put it there um if you take a photo of your beautiful dish in a in a restaurant uh put the main the main focus you want people to to see um in one of the intersection there right let's let's practice that it's a very very effective way to have a good framing and second we have a safe zone uh when you consume content on TikTok or Instagram Reels, you kind of um, sometimes if people if, if the creator not pay attention to the safe zone, a lot of information blocked by the captions, the logo, and other you know things on the edges, right? So when you create your content, you want to avoid, um, you want to be mindful. There's a safe zone, which is, I would say, in the middle of the frame vertically in the middle of the frame, uh, more to left than the right. So put like your main focus there. Every time, you know, the next time when you open TikTok or Instagram Reels and see where do they put those icons and things to avoid those places. Awesome. Okay, the last uh, cutting on action. This is something I want to um, highlight today um, is I, I see a lot of uh, creators or businesses when they cut things it seems very jumpy is because uh, you didn't focus on this little detail, cutting on action. That's a, a very important uh, filmmaking technique we use. Um, let's let's take, a, take this for example. Okay, I'm going to, for example, have a wide shot of me right now, pick up a uh, coffee and have a drink. Okay, if you want to cut, with another shot and make it very cool. Like you have one of two shots, make it uh, like a little sequence. And the second camera, if you want to to be a side 
side look of me drinking a coffee. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing, right? So you record me, do the same, uh, do the whole action. Okay, record me here, whole action. Awesome, you're gonna second, maybe a side shot, record me to do the, everything again. Okay, when you cut, when you cut, you cut the end of the first shot and connect it with the start of the, the second shot at the same moment. For example, when the glass touched my lips, you cut right there, right? So you cut on action, always cut on action, right? Um, another example, a chef preparing a dish, uh, cut from the white shot to close up. That's another technique from wide to close up. You record exactly the same thing. Let the person do the same thing twice. Wide and then do a close up, right? And when the when the chef starts to chopping, you cut right there. You cut right there, okay? Cut on action, cut on action. Okay, is everybody following me? You can take some yeses. Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome. That's good, that's good. Okay, let's jump to the next one. Next one, our example that we did for um, Halifax Shopping Center. A good example on um, lighting and framing. Let's enjoy their short video. Okay. So the lighting here, uh, we just use some constant light, like something like this, uh, because it's a studio, like lights bigger than this to shine um, the subject and the backdrop because we want to like, you know, everything's shiny and the framing, I'm gonna re replay this again to everybody to see the framing, like why we frame sometimes big and sometimes uh, more tight and Think of a rule of third. Sometimes we put the model's eyes in like the third, uh, the third portion of the top or the bottom, um, just to make make it good looking. Let's rewatch it again. Okay, cool, awesome. Does anybody have any questions on lighting and framing? before we jump up, jump to another topic. We had, uh, so if anybody has any questions since you asked, so we had a few like, do you have any suggestions for some good diffusers? Yes, I do. So the diffuser I don't have in my hand, um, but it's those affordable one, like a magic affordable yeah. one. Um, I can, you know, send a link of you, you know, those very affordable, like $10 on Amazon or $20 on Amazon, very okay. good things. Yeah. And another so, thing is a curtain. Curtain's great. Okay. So yeah, again, yeah. just either, you know, Google, you know, Amazon right. diffusers and for photography. And then the other question would be, what are some good economical mics for Samsung S23? Okay. So for Samsung and the new iPhone users, any mic that comes with USB-C um, okay. plug-in, that will work. Um, I would recommend if you're very serious, uh, do Shure. Uh, if you in music production, you know Shure, S-H-U-R-E, very serious. If not, I would I would say around fifty dollars, no no lower than fifty dollars when you buy a Mac, okay. because uh, sound is more important than visuals when you want to be serious. Okay, people cannot stand the best sound. Yeah. Yeah, so that's correct. So S H U R E, if you're serious and have a little more money to spend, and if not around fifty dollars, again, you can support local. Or you can go with Amazon, whatever you want to choose. Um, we have high. Yes. Okay, so if we're talking CapCut, can we talk about how to remove watermarks from their templates? I cannot figure this out. Yes. So what are um, remove watermark on their? Uh, it's it's on the setting. Right, so to be to be sure, it's on the setting. I can share a link with you after the after this session. Okay, and then we so, have yeah. Don't use their watermark ever when you create. Just turn it off. Um, and then we have uh, sorry. Um, you said to cut on action. What if I'm filming the inside of my cabin? No action going on. Uh, the action don't have to be to be big, right? Um, if you promote your cabin, let's say you do a room tour. Um, so for example, the person's opening 
the door to another room and you say, okay, stay there. And you go to the other room and let the person open the room again. So that's a great trans transition. Okay. Cut on action. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So um, that's all we have for now. Of course, there'll be more opportunities at the end to ask questions. And also David's available for a one-on-one -on -one session. So if you really have some burning questions after, you can book him on Digiport. Awesome. Thanks for the commercial, Nick. <laughs> To promote that. You're um, perfect. So I, I've seen another question here I can't address right now. Is camera normally in portrait aspect uh, instead of landscape? Uh, you can do horizontal, which in the filmmaking world is better. Uh, when I do commercial for our clients, normally they're horizontal. However, those are like high end land uh, land page content. But for today, you know, we're going to do vertical because we're going to create content to drive traffic to your landing page. And on those social media platforms like TikTok and Instagram Reels, vertical is preferred. Sometimes it's odd to create vertical content, but yeah. All right, so here's an example of talking on action. Okay, so how, how's this made? Uh, so the model Maggie is doing the exact same dance over, 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 over again with different outfit. And when we say cutting on action, that's a very extreme example when we do cutting on action, right? So just make sure the person doing the action over again, ex like exact same continuity, right? Okay, perfect. All right, so let's jump to CapCut. So why CapCut? It's very user-friendly. It's very intuitive, uh, very easy to use. However, if you are an ever, like never edit a, a video on your smartphone, this could be a little bit, you know, take some time to get used to. It's very powerful. This, you know, for example, the, the little goal, goal video we, we, we watched, that's some very interesting feature, very powerful feature there. And it's free, it's great. Uh, so I assume everybody has your um, app downloaded on your phone and your like I have, you know, two of those two uh, clips that um, Sunny's shared on the link. Please, if you haven't um, transferred to your phone, please do. Um, and I can introduce the inter the interface a little bit. So when you open CapCut, you see the left screen here, right? So. And you, what are you gonna do? Sorry, what are you gonna do? You're gonna click new project. And then we'll jump to the second screen here. You're gonna choose which videos you're going to import to your CapCut project, okay? Uh, there are like more things I can introduce, but today we're gonna focus on that. Okay, is everybody ready? If not, that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna introduce something a little bit more, okay? So, oh, sorry. All right. So we have timeline here. Okay, can everybody see my cursor here? The timeline is when you see the video on the timeline here, when you have time code on top. So you can scroll, you know, back and forth or whenever you want to stop. That's your timeline. That's the workspace you want to arrange and edit your clips. And you have tools panel, which is on, at the very bottom of the screen, right? On this, you know, uh, example here, we have edit, we have audio, text, text overlay, effects, and other things. There's so many. We're going to use two of those today to achieve that effect. And you also have preview window. Um, the giant portion here allows you to see the edits in real time. Um, and some basic functions here. We have cutting and splicing, select a clip, place um, the playhead where you want to cut, right? The playhead is a, that little white um, stick there in the middle um, and use the scissor tool to split the clip to cut, right? And you know, you can choose, one type is choose, you can hold it to drag, okay? and arrange clips, drag and drop clips on the timeline to arrange the order, right? Um, learning a new software, kind of learning a new language, uh, all you need to is to practice. And we can also add music and sound effects, which we won't practice today, 
Uh, we're just going to use the authentic sound to come with it. Okay, perfect. Let's watch this again. Yeah, we have a magical smartphone here. It can produce some delicious espresso martini. <laughs> it took me twice to, um, to, to film this because the first time my uh, tripod shakes a little bit, right? It, it doesn't work. So it's, the, the martini looked terrible. There's no foam on top because, it, you know, uh, it was sitting there for a few, min a few minutes there. Okay, so is everybody ready? If, if you're ready, please type yes. Okay, Cynthia's ready. Oh, okay, awesome. Wow, we have a very good crew. Awesome, everybody. This is yeah. great. This is awesome. No judgmental finger today. Um, okay, let's do it. So we're gonna learn shim and cut. Shim is shortened from the beginning or the end of the clip. We can, you can just hold the beginning of the clip. There's a little white bar. You can make it shorter. Uh, you can do the same thing on the back. And cut is to separate a clip at any point on the timeline, right? We have the, you know, the Y line there, you put there, you click the clip you want to cut and there's a little scissors, click cut, you separate it and choose the one you don't like, choose that one, one tap, delete, and you have the good one. And overlay, overlay is to put one clip on top of another clip on the timeline, that's overlay. Right, because today's trick, today's practice, you know, when I do the, the phone and the drink there, I overlay two clips there, right? And mask, mask is to make a certain part of a clip transparent to achieve a certain effects. For example, I put there, so I, I filmed two, you know, two different um, clips. One is me just um, pouring, um, Sorry, the first one is me just no no drink and just press this, right? This top part of the video. And then the second one is I do the same thing without top part video. Bottom part video is pour the drink in. And we're gonna mask top of top uh, the, the clip on top to make the bottom part transparent so we can see down, right? Okay. Perfect. Before we do hands-on, we're gonna show you how I edit in real time, step by step. And this session is recorded and this video is you know, available for everybody to rewatch or like to, to refer to when you, when you do the same thing. Okay, so first I have two clips here, as you can see, right? I'm just gonna play around. At first I'm gonna click, uh, choose one clip and I'm gonna choose overlay. Okay, right now it's separate, you see it's just, it's separate, right? And then I just drag this, the bottom one, drag, 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 drag. So one clip and then hold to drag, right? To drag there. And the next thing I wanna do is to cut on action, cut on action, right? I'm gonna cut on the exact same moment when the drink hit the glass, right? So, okay, so I want to press the exact same moment when the, when the drink comes down. Okay, so I find the tap moment there. See? Okay, and then I'm just gonna do some twisting there. Perfect. I'm gonna choose the second one and I click mask. Okay, and I choose a horizontal mask. It's okay if you don't understand right now, you don't need to. Okay, I'm, I can use two fingers to twist. I want the bottom part to be transparent. And then I put the line there to be parallel to the smartphone so I can achieve that effect. Awesome, that's what I did. And then just press. Oh, you see that comes out? Okay, good. Okay, that's very good. Oh, I wish I had that smartphone, can do that. Oh, there's, you know, watermark, I delete it, right? You, you don't need, <laughs> you don't need to know. Okay, and then exporting very fast. It's done. We'll do a little preview again here. Click it. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Put on, press. Oh, very smooth, very smooth. All right? 
It's like two minutes video, two minutes, two minutes magic. Okay, so you know, I I think everybody you know it's okay that you not follow because you know it's it's very fast because I get used to things. Um, we're gonna re practice this again. We can do you know step by step. Okay, so now everybody, open your open your CapCut. Okay, we'll do step by step. Okay, when you see the first screen and then click new project and select the two clips I share with everybody. Once you've done that, let me know, right? Choose those two, you can click one and click two. Choose those two clips. Uh, if you don't, please comment down or yes or espresso martini, whatever you want to comment and then we can jump to the next one. What's the best, best way to ensure that action line up when you record each clip? Very good question. Very good question, Olivia. I uh, count myself there. I, I gave myself seven seconds to press the phone. I was like, in, in, in my mind, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then when I pour, I do the same thing. I, I start from the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That way you can line up perfectly. Very good question, Olivia. Thank you so much. Okay. Is everybody ready for, for the practice? Okay, wait for, wait for a minute. Okay, Corey, thank you. It's okay because, you know, this app is, you know, kind of an advanced version um, and it takes time. It really takes time. Um, but, you know, the good thing is everything's recorded. I can share the step-by-step -step screen recording for everybody. Um, but we we'll give everybody like a few more, like two more minutes and then we can jump in, okay? So just open your app, open the CapCut app and click new project. And then we choose those two clips I share with everybody. And you can comment yes or done, right? Um, if you have trouble to transfer those two clips from your computer to your phone, maybe don't bother right now. You can just choose a certain like two videos on your phone that we can practice. It doesn't matter, right? As long as we, we know how to overlay and mask a certain part of the video to be invisible, or sorry, transparent, that's good. That's the practice today. Okay, where are these two clips? So the two clips uh, are shared in the very top of this chat box uh, that Sunny shared um, earlier. Uh, in the beginning of the uh, workshop. Okay, let's okay, let's jump in. Is everybody ready? More people ready? Okay, thanks, Jennifer. Thanks, Jennifer, for downloading that. Okay, while people's preparing that, I can jump to our okay. Just give you know some information. Here are some ideas for everybody, okay? If you're in the hotel or in business, for the short form content, you can do room tours. It's a great way to showcase your amenities, right? So you can highlight room um, and views and all the functions you have. Um, and what we can use are, you know, cut on action, right? You know, use your colleague, your, you know, employee to be in the shot and let them to open this door, just follow this person. And then you jump to another room, let this, person open the door again to cut on action, right? Second one is te guest testimonials, very important for any business, right? You can capture the guests sharing their experiences. You can award them uh, if they do so. Um, just be, you know, approachable, be, be very authentic, and ask them if you want to be in the shot. Um, the third one, we can use behind the scenes, right? You know, for the hotels and inns, maybe, you know, how you make your room clean, how you, you know, what's the routine of, you know, every day of your staff. It's very cool ideas. And for those are in restaurant 
business. Um, uh, Axalias, Axalias, yeah, the restaurant uh, in this photo that, that we captured, beautiful restaurant. Um, you can do dish preparations, very important. Um, people are just curious how you make these dishes. So make those content to drive your uh, customer in your restaurant. And you can do customer experience as well, right? It's similar to the in ideas um, and special events you have in, anytime in your restaurant, just do that, right? Showcase the different aspects of your event. Um, I would use like wide shot and then some close up with people having fun to capture the, the essence of the event and the vibes, and the atmospheres. Um, and if you are experience focusing, uh, focused businesses, like, you know, Tours and Alexander Keith, um, that's one of their services experience. Uh, you can capture uh, the activity highlights, right? You know, what, what what's the tour? What's the highlight? If you don't want to tell everything about your tour, but just some of the, you know, uh, highlights, uh, activities, right? Uh, to, to just to, have a little teaser. And then you can also do customer test, uh, test, um, test, test, my God, my mouth today, testimonials. Um, so it's very important, uh, you know, you say yourself is good, is not, you know, as good as other people say you're good. Um, behind the scenes, everything, every business behind the scenes are very important. So is more people ready, uh, more people ready for, for um for the video okay perfect we have more people ready here awesome this is awesome okay we have more people ready let's dive in okay so and then you choose you choose those two clips and click add click add and then you will see this timeline here right and when you see this little box here that that's in the that's in between those two clips, right? So right now, what are we gonna do is you can, you know, just scroll back and forth of your timeline. There are two clips there. What I want everybody to do is to drag the second clip. How to drag um, is, you know, click and drag or click, choose, and then just long press the drag. Okay, so just click the second clip, click the second clip, and then we go down to the tool panel, find overlay and click overlay, and then you will separate them. Once that is done, let me know. I can play the little video, show you how, okay? Um, here it is, okay. So you're gonna, okay, go to the second one, click, and then go down, down, down. See there's overlay, perfect. And you, and you see that too. Okay, does everybody, down that if, if you finish that please check yes if you lost like in any steps no worries you know just keep watching um and the whole thing will be recorded and you can practice after the workshop okay do we separate those two clips it would be easier if we are in person right i can show everybody and um but let's just imagine i'm i'm beside you Let's do the overlay, okay? I'm gonna re replay this. Okay, you're gonna click the second one and then find overlay. Okay, and now you got two. Okay. Let's see if everybody's ready. No, it's like a new, a new language to learn. New interface. But CapCut is like any other um, uh, video software. It's, it's all like this. It is a similar language, just more, um, a little more easy to use now. Hey, Will, we had a, a question come in here. Sure. Uh, and if you already answered, yeah, apologies. Question okay. Are we able to edit horizontal videos for TV, YouTube screens, or is it for vertical only for Instagram type video? Awesome, yeah, thanks Kimberly, uh, thanks Nick. Uh, so you can edit any type of the video, horizontal, vertical, or even square, so you're good. Um, able to export a video that is broadcast quality for TV and YouTube screens. Yes, you are. Um, for cables, for TVs, they may have some 
special requirement, but I re I believe the desktop version can do that. For YouTube screens, no problem at all. So YouTube screen are 16 by nine normally, horizontal, it can do that. If you import that way, if you not, it's a little bit tricky, right? So make sure when you film um, your video, you want to, to be horizontal, film horizontal. Um, I said, and the thirdly, I work on the Mac and the iPhone. Can I use this app on my Mac laptop and share with the iPhone? Yes, you can. Create an account, or you can use your TikTok account to create, and your laptop version and phone version will sync, right? For example, you're editing on your phone, and then you got frustrated because the screen is so small. You want to use your Mac, you can totally do that. You can do that. Awesome. Thanks, Kim Kimberly. Okay, perfect. Um, can you explain the steps one more time, please? Absolutely. And once you, okay, once you have these two uh, clips on the timeline, just choose one of the clip, just tap, choose one of the clip, and then go down those um, toolboxes there and find overlay and just click overlay, right? So find overlay, click. So they're separated. Okay, perfect. Let me know you 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 have done this. Let me know you have done this. Okay, perfect, awesome, awesome, Eileen, it's awesome. David, how do you separate the clips? Um, just uh, the overlay is you know that's what they use to put them separately. Okay, on the different timeline. Okay, we have nine minutes um, here, so we're gonna just jump to the next session. Um, after we do the overlay, um, I already cut everybody to the the the, uh, the second uh, clip is perfectly is pouring right, so you don't have to separate them, you don't have to trim them. So you're gonna drag the, the bottom one, drag it and move kind of to to the front, okay? So make sure they kind of on top of each other rather than like ones behind, right? So let's see how I do it. So you clip it and drag, clip it and long press and drag, right? It's a little, you know, okay. And then you want to kind of find the moment when my finger touched the smartphone. And then you want the beginning of the second clip there to be like right there, to be right there, okay? You don't see any of the fun functional icons. Uh, it should be there. Um, so all the, uh, what's it called, Android and iOS system is the same on the bottom. It should be there. Maybe you went to a, a different um, function, like a, a, a different uh, section. So if you cannot find them, go back. There's a you know, click. There's like a, a exit on the top of the screen and re-enter your uh, project. Okay. Are we down here? Are we kind of, you know, um, put your two clips on top of each other? Are we done that part? Okay, so how to drag this is, you know, to click and then long hold, and you can drag it, right? So click and select and hold it is, you know, is to, to drag it, okay? Let's see if we have done this part. If you have any questions, please you can type in, in the chat box and ask, I can answer your questions there. Okay, store is good, awesome. I'm gonna replay this. This part again. Find overlay. Okay, they're now they're on the two levels right now. And then you drag the second one. Drag, drag, drag. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Okay. Uh, and everybody, you know, everything's rewatchable, and I'm I'm here to answer all the questions. Um, yeah, and get gonna, all the questions after. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was going to say, with, with five minutes left, we want to 
make sure we continue on. But like, again, you can answer questions. Anyone that's having any particular trouble could always book a one-on-one -on -one with Will. So, so check into that. So just, yeah, I mean, and of course this is available to rewatch. So um, also, lots yeah, of, lots and of one -on -one, right, right. And Nick mentioned one -on ones for free. So um, we can do that one-on-one. -on -one. I think that's way easier. Okay. And then after that, we're going to, you know, mask, right? So we're going to choose the mask. And then I'm going to twist upside down because I want the bottom part to be transparent to see the pouring part, right? So I'm going to make the parallel and just make make sure, it, yeah, we see the bottom part perfectly there, just like that, right? So that's, that's the last step we're going to do, right? Because we only have five minutes left, uh, so we're going to uh, do... Um, we're just going to keep going. Where can we find an instruction ma menu for CapCut? Um, CapCut, there are so many um, videos on YouTube you can watch. They're, they're all great um, how to use the app. And we focus. Uh, yeah, and we hey that. Today we're going to skip this, this part uh, if you have time. Uh, so I'm going to very quickly go through the Q&A. Um, so what visual elements should we should be in the thumbnail and opening scene to capture viewers' attention and engagement? Um, first, it's not important. Uh, it's, we, we're, we're about that stage right now where you have to trick people, to hook people. No, just be authentic, right? If you really want to mix you know, your thumbnail uh, and opening scene to be interesting, uh, put your highlight there. What's your highlight, right? Uh, for example, we're going to use iPhone, uh, the, the phone I use, and with the, um, the martini come down. That's a good, that, that's a good thumbnail, thumbnail. Address copy of timely watermarks. Um, you can explore that. Uh, the watermarks, not, not important. Please don't use the watermarks. I'm going to choose one, a few more here. Best equipment to use, the, 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 the most used equipment you have is, is the best one. Um, Okay, how can I can we best use AI in our video production? On CapCut, there's an AI auto uh, auto uh, auto auto gen generic um, closed captions. Very useful. I don't have to type in; just use AI. Um, here, best app for editing. Um, it really depends. CapCut is great. Uh, ideal length and speed for videos. That's a good question. I would say thirty to sixty seconds right now. Speed of videos, just just normal speed. That's normal speed. Uh, un unless you're doing some glamour shot, you do like fifty percent slower. Um, can you add your cut cut reels as a post on your social media? Absolutely. Yeah. Don't create real. Don't create content on the specific social media platform. You create on a third party like cut cut, so you can you can you know post it wherever you want. Um, and Please contact us if you have any questions. I have a QR code here for us. Uh, we're here to help you. And as Nick said, uh, we have one-on-one. Ask an expert. I'm an expert today. Oh my God, it's crazy. I'm an expert today. Um, service here and it's for free. It's a great resource for everybody. And here's the QR code if you want to take a screenshot, how to uh, book a session with me. Uh, we can continue the conversation. Um, and I want to say thank you, everybody, for being here today. Uh, it's my pleasure. I had a lot of fun. And I uh, hope you, I hope this, you know, not very daunting. I hope you had a great time. And uh, please, please submit your question to Nick. And I will uh, ask everybody's question, everybody's question after this session. Thank you so much. That's great. Well, there's a lot of, a lot of thank yous. Very helpful. Um, a lot of thank yous. That's that's great. And anyone that needs to dive in a little more, we'll, we'll, um, we'll do so. So just let me just take the screen back over. Well, and we'll let you get to your, the rest of your day. Thank you, everybody. So that was a great uh, video and there's a lot to it. So feel free to, to jump back in, share it with, with um, anyone in, in the industry that you think it would be valuable. And again, I mean, this seems like kind of a, a prime example of how you may want to um, book a one-on-one -on -one with Will and either try to figure out how he did those two shots or, or you know, capture your own videos and, and do it that way. So next week we have um, analyzed customer feedback with ChatGPT by um, Newcomb Consulting. 
And then our last one before at the end of the summer will be Summer Social Media Success presented by Kara O'Coin with KA Social Media. Uh, again, uh, July, August is, is you know, the, some of the busiest times of the year. I'm sure you'd argue that right now and, and September, October could be as well, but we're going to take that summer break just to, to give everyone a pause. Uh, we do have um, our um, travel trade webinar next Thursday, uh, June 13th at 2. And you can delve into the world of the travel trade, discover the many benefits that new partnerships with travel agents and tour operators will bring to your business. Uh, they're going to explore the basics, processes, and best practices of working with travel trade and share some market trends and learn more about the programs and resources available. Uh, the deadline to join the travel trade um, program is June 30th. You can check out the details online, but it's an opportunity to develop partnerships with tour operators and travel agents um, to take your business to in international and national sales to increase those sales. So check it out. If you have any questions on that, send them our way and we'll get you in touch with the right um, partners at TNS to answer those questions. If you have any ideas for any potential webinars or you get like to give us any feedback, please send us an email at tnsbusiness at novascotia.ca. A lot of our um, programming, the links to these webinars are available at tourismns.ca. That's our corporate website. And specifically on the website, our news, news and resources section, I'd highly encourage you to sign up for that. That's where you would sign up to get um, all the relevant information. Our consumer website is novascotia.com. That's for our call to action on our marketing. We're on LinkedIn our, um, at Tourism Nova Scotia, and we're on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Tourism Nova Scotia. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, and hope you have a great rest of your day.